like a desert out here. Hello everybody, how are you? I hope that you're well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I am currently traveling solo around Thailand and as you can see I'm on the move. This afternoon I just came from Khao Suk National Park. You will have seen the previous vlog of the fantastic time I had in Khao Suk and I have now just rocked up in a town called Khao Lak which is on the coast. It only took just over an hour to get to Khao Lak and if I'm completely honest I don't know a whole lot about Khao Lak. It was just a recommendation that I received from some friends when I was in Koh Tao and apparently there's maybe some good diving to do here but other than that I don't know a whole lot. Now the van has dropped me off on the side of the main road. In an ideal world, he would have dropped me closer to my hostel, but my Google Maps was being really laggy and he had no idea where he was going. We've gone a little bit past the hostel, so I just have to walk back a bit. Only like, I think it's like a three minute walk, which I said is fine. But anyway, I'm just about to check into my hostel now, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do over the next couple of days. But before we continue, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsors of today's video, Surfshark. Surfshark are a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network, which is essentially a tool that turns your internet private, which you may not be aware is even possible and how it can improve your experience as an internet user. So firstly, having Surfshark switched on prevents any hackers from getting into your device. When you're connected to a public Wi-Fi network, like in a cafe or in an airport, for example, your device is at risk of being hacked. So it's essential in this day and age to have a VPN to protect all your data. A VPN also allows you to change the virtual location of your device. And by doing this, you are able to access Netflix from other countries, potentially get cheaper flights, and access any media that might be blocked in your country for whatever reason. With Surfshark, with the click of a button, you can change your virtual location to somewhere where that service is available, and suddenly, your internet experience just became a whole lot better. Surfshark is one of the only VPNs where you can access it on an unlimited number of your devices with just the one account. And Surfshark are giving you guys an amazing discount of 83% off plus an extra three months for free when you use my code backpacking or using the link in the description. I'm guessing it's just like a really small hostel because I don't know, it doesn't look completely abandoned. It doesn't look like I've booked somewhere which just doesn't exist. It looks like there has been life here, but clearly just no one's here right now. I did request a check-in time between one and two, and it's just before two o'clock, and they even replied to that saying, okay, so, mm, I don't know what to do with myself. They don't have a bell either. At least I tried calling on there. Hmm, this is the first time this has happened in Thailand. Yeah. What I might do actually, there's a cafe really close by. I might just leave my big bag outside here, and take my valuables bag with me and just go to the cafe nearby and get some lunch because I'm quite hungry. Here, it's just this one, Farang, which I'm pretty sure means foreigner in Thai, the Farang coffee and bakery. Sawadika. Um, you have food? cute in here. I've ordered a chicken baked potato and an iced caramel latte. <laughs> Someone in a comment of a previous video said that you guys should drink every time that I drink an iced caramel latte. And I think it's a good drinking game because it happens a lot. Anyway, I've messaged them just saying that I'm waiting here in this cafe. I'm assuming they know what it is and I've said I've left my backpack outside. I'm just getting some lunch just in case they arrive shortly. I don't really know what to do in this situation. Like, other than what I'm doing right now, it's a bit difficult when there's just no one there at the hostel. A bit frustrating. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and I got a reply which literally just says, okay. <laughs> is that okay, I'm gonna come meet you? Or is that okay, good for you? <laughs> what does that mean? Will you be at the hostel in 45 minutes. Let's see. If they just reply okay again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they did. They just replied okay. Is it just an automated reply? All right, it's three o'clock, which is the supposed agreed time that I'm going to meet this guy at the reception of the hostel. So, take two. Let's hope he's here. So it looks open. Fantastic. So, Arika. Ah, 
bottom bunk. That's good. Thank you. This one, yeah, B2. So, the room is very nice actually, very, very clean. You get given a bath towel. I always love it when they give you a free bath towel in a dorm room because that's not super common. So there is a bathroom in here, there is air con, but he said there was free tea coffee downstairs and I am paying 268 baht for one night here in this dorm bed and it comes with its own locker as well and there's a balcony. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to be spending much time in this room, but that's where I'm staying. It doesn't seem like there's any vibe here whatsoever, but whatever, it's just, it's a nice clean hostel. And uh, in the cafe, I was doing a little bit of research of what to do in Kaolack, and it seems like the main thing to do is diving. And so tomorrow, I've pretty much decided I am going to do a day trip of diving. I'm not too sure where. It seems like there's quite a few places, like the Similan Islands, Coban. There was like a few places which are like world-class dive sites near here. So yeah, that's definitely what I want to do tomorrow. Um, uh, it's really common to do a liverboard actually, but I'm running out of time in Thailand. I don't think I have time to do a liverboard. Um, so I'm just going to do a day trip with two dives. So I've already rented a scooter and um, just did it with the hostel downstairs. It's 200 baht for the day. Um, and I'm just going to head to a few dive shops now, find someone nice who I think I want to dive with tomorrow, organize that trip. And then if it's if there's still enough daylight, because it's like quarter past three now, I might try and head to a local waterfall just for fun, because why not? And I've got the scooter and I want to make the most of it. I just went directly to wet zone divers because after just like a quick little Google research about the dive shops, this one just seemed like it had really good reviews and things. And so I went there, I inquired, I was like, look, I want to do a day trip tomorrow. And he said, well, you're in luck because we are doing the best of all the dive trips tomorrow. And it's to a place called Richelieu Rock, which is apparently according to him god knows if he's bluffing but i i like to think i believe him it's the best dive site in thailand and there is a chance that we can see whale shark it's an expensive trip for the whole day trip tomorrow including transfers including food including equipment two dives six thousand 300 baht and that includes the national park entrance fee as well which is 700 baht alone so it's definitely a pricey thing to do in thailand but you know, if it's the best diving here, I really want to give it a go. And then I also paid an extra 200 baht for diving insurance. So all in all, I'm paying 6,500 baht. Oh, it's painful for the backpacker budget, but I'm really hoping that it's going to be worth it. It's 10 to four. We've still got a few hours of daylight. I am going to head to a local waterfall. I'm going to have a look where it is and I'm going to drive there. So I've got my scooter for the rest of the day. So let's make the most of it. Basically, I've run out of contact lenses and I thought I'd have a bit of luck trying to go to an optician and like getting some emergency contacts. But having now gone to two, the first one I went to didn't have them. They just had glasses. The second one is closed. Like it just doesn't exist even though I thought it did on Google Maps. And then I spoke to someone in there where it was supposed to exist and she was like, oh, I think the nearest opticians is like 32 kilometers away. And I was like, oh. I mean, look, my eyesight's not that bad as far as things go. I'm minus one and minus 1.25. And so I can fully function without my glasses, but I just thought for scuba diving, it just might be quite nice to see the fishies in just a little bit more clarity but hey ho, they'll just be a little bit blurry. Oh, oh well, I mean, it's my own fault for running out of contact lenses. I'm getting my mum to send me my prescription actually in Australia when I arrive. Anyway, I'm going off topic. Let's go to a waterfall. Soy, soy rung. Huh? Soy rung waterfall, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thai rung, thai rung, rainbow. Thai, thai rung. Uh, uh, English word, rainbow. Okay. Uh, rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I'll come for coconut after. Okay. Okay. Ka. I don't know if you heard that, but Sai Rong waterfall means rainbow waterfall, which is very nice. Uh, that guy runs the restaurant just there, and I promise I will go get a coconut afterwards. Which sounds like a great plan. My friends Sedi and Ilvi recommended me to come here. They were actually the ones who recommended me to come to Kaolak in the first place, and they said that this is a waterfall that they came to. Very beautiful. 
I just changed into my bikini quickly before coming over. Very <laughs> slippy. What a graceful entry into the waterfall. Very, very fresh. There's like leaves on the bottom and I'm really scared to step on them. It's just come to my attention that I don't have a towel. So <laughs> I might be a little bit wet on the way home, uh, but that's okay. It's a lovely waterfall. I do appreciate that I have it all to myself as well. It's really, really nice when that happens. I know a lot of shit things have come from COVID, but some, some of the outcomes of COVID are quite nice. And one of those is that you often get waterfalls to yourself. I'm gonna to stick to my promise, stick to my word with that man, and I'm gonna go get a coconut at his restaurant. Uh, when you meet uh, David Beckham or Michael Owen, uh, <laughs> when will I meet David Beckham? Uh, I'll tell them. I, I, I meet them. I like them. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> when I meet David Beckham, I will tell him about you. I am black man. Ah, you're his rep man. Okay, here she is. Let's head back to the hostel. The sun sets in about half an hour. I'm back at the hostel. There's still no one in the room. Everyone's like stuff is here. It seems like a full dorm. I just haven't seen anyone. So I will continue exploring by myself. Um, my friend Ilvi has given me a recommendation for a sunset spot actually. It's called Kaulak Poo View. And it's not actually on the beach. It seems like it's up a hill and there will be like a view over a mountain. It says it's only a four minute drive from here. Let's go. That's actually some pretty decently priced cocktails for 120 baht. Yeah, things here are really affordable considering the lovely location and view. Oh, oh, I would like a glass of wine. I wonder if they do it by the glass. Yes, they do. Also, 120 baht. Fantastic. Cheers, my friends. I've really made peace with being solo today. Like, I'm not actually fussed that no one else is here. Maybe I needed this, maybe I just needed this alone time. very sweet visit. It's 7.08pm. I'm gonna go for sushi and it's another recommendation I've had from my friends Sedi and Ilvi and they said it's the best sushi that they've had in Thailand so that's gonna be for dinner and then I will just head back for you know a somewhat early chilled night ready for diving tomorrow. Here it is it's called Yu Taro Japanese kitchen. So I've gone for some Philly, Philly salmon, is that what this one's called? Some salmon, avocado, and cream cheese. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting this to be so big. So I also went with a Godzilla which is um, like deep fried sushi with prawn, tempura, avocado, and some other things. I don't know, it looks nice. like everyone's bags are here the beds are taken there's just no people I'm gonna get to work go to sleep now but I'm gonna be waking up early in the morning to go diving so 
I haven't extended my stay in this hostel. Oh shit, I've got to figure this out. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Yes. So we just got picked up from our accommodation and taken to the ferry port and now I have to do a COVID test to get on the boat. Let's hope I'm negative, otherwise this is going to be real awkward. Yes, please. Thank you. Well, that's one line. I'm Neggy, baby. Chris, <laughs> Christiane. Flavian and Daniel. I'm being called Christiane today because there is a guy on the boat called Christian or Christian. I would pronounce Christian, he pronounces Christian, and so that's all a bit confusing. So today I am Christiane. Thank you, okay, these are my two tanks, everyone's setting up, and then we're gonna have a briefing. If there is a little bit too much, we can always protect, that's, that's the good thing we should do. This is the top, we are on uh, this line, I think. Um, we have a maximum of 30 meters we can go, and it will be for two, three minutes, I think, and then we, we rise up again, yeah? So in, uh, in the back of me, and try to stay a little bit on my level, don't go deeper, of course, also. Yeah. Maximum left. And if there is a problem, pull my feet, you can grab almost everything. Almost. <laughs> Just finished the first dive, it was very good, lots of fish, no whale sharks. Maybe we'll see a whale shark on the second one, that would be really, really nice. And it got a little bit confusing because I had a little bit of air left and so I was told to go to the other group. But then it all got a bit confusing at the end, but I didn't mind. I was just happy to be underwater, to be honest. And now I think we're going to be here for like an hour and a half chilling. Um, they're going to serve us lunch on the boat and then we'll be in for a second dive. So we got noodles, we got rice with some green curry and chicken and aubergine and a fried egg for lunch. Lovely. The quest to see a whale shark continues. Um, I don't know if I've told you this, I've never seen a whale shark in my life. It's somewhere that on ev it's something that on every single dive I am looking for, especially if they say that there's a chance of seeing one. Um, but alas, no whale sharks on this dive. But still, it was beautiful. So many fish. I love the big, big schools of those yellow fish. They were super, super cool. Make me feel very happy um, just to be there amongst it. So all in all, it was good diving. I think the visibility could have been a bit better but yes all in all <laughs> very very good. I think now we're heading back to the mainland it's gonna be hour hour and a half maybe a, maybe an hour and a quarter to get back because right now we are in the bar, uh, middle of the ocean. Nothing's around. <laughs> World famous rusty pelican. Here we go. Oh no. And the rains just started coming down hard. My friends that recommended me to come to Polak highly recommended that, um, that I came to this restaurant. World famous rusty pelican. So I'm here with Mika, who's <laughs> in my dorm room. 
and uh, this place is literally a hundred meters walk from our hostel so we didn't have to come far luckily and we're gonna have some dinner in three weeks Whee! now the next day I'm in the hostel dorm room and I'm just about to check out because I'm gonna get the bus at four o'clock to Phuket in an ideal world I would have got that beforehand but apparently the only public bus going to Phuket is at four o'clock so alas that's what I'm going to do so that is the end of this vlog in Khao Lak honestly I think Khao Lak is worth visiting if you are a diver if you're not a diver I don't think there would be any reason for you as a backpacker to come here. That's just my own personal opinion, but I'm intrigued if any of you have come to Kaolak as non-divers and enjoyed it. What did you do? Let me know in the comments. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next vlog in Phuket. Bye bye.